Kara Morin. We should keep. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's uh, uh, what's his name? Geralt. Is that his name, Geralt? Uh, excuse me. Hello? Okay. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Yeah, no, this entire cutscene, there's gonna it's just gonna be zoomed in on my face cam. So, I don't later then. I don't feel like this is comfortable for me on YouTube. <laughs> if y'all couldn't tell from my reaction here, um this is my very <laughs> stop <laughs> Stop! Yeah, this is my very first time playing Witcher 3 Wild. <laughs> Stop! Stop doing that! Who are you? Wait. Who are. Wait. Is that Yennefer? Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the tutorial. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tutorial. Yeah, as y'all couldn't tell uh, from my reaction during the cutscene, this is my first time playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, my friend. Uh, highly recommended me to play this game, so he ended up getting me the S Switch uh, Complete Edition for Christmas. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. It's just... Uh, I need to figure out a good... I think... Move my webcam down to the bottom corner here. Here. See if that <laughs> works better. I st I'm still gonna have to, like keep that whole cutscene zoomed in on my webcam because that's too spicy for freaking YouTube. It is Yennefer! Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> we must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. We used it as a bed once! Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. <laughs> look, how far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh, but it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Oh my god, this is so good so far. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh, here we go.
adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Slowly to decline when you are not engaged in combat. When armies pass, necropages follow. Let's and what's this one? Any more show up. Vitality regeneration. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. Damn, okay. While playing on the blood and broken sp Oh, wow. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Okay, well, to be fair, this, this is my first time playing Witcher 3, so I chose the easiest difficulty, so the meditation will regenerate my uh, VP, uh, VP. I want to learn how to do this. You'll go first, okay. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use them wisely. Oh. Okay. This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. Some unit cards have special abilities. This quite siege expert's special ability is called moral morale boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Oh. Weather cards. Type of special cards. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. So if it's winter, it'll decrease the sword ability. I think that middle one is wind, and the bottom one is rain. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Okay. Here's the battlefield. This is your side, and this is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player must place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing Y. Oh. Press A select play a card. Okay. Press A to select a card from your hand. Press A again to place it on the battlefield. So it's my turn first. Um... Let's send in an archer first. Okay, yay. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So not all cards will have that second uh, symbol. Got it. So I got a ballista in there. The number on the left, by your icon, shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength of that for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. Okay. During your turn, you can pass by holding down X. Once, the pass, once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play. Or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. A round ends once both a round ends once both players have passed. The players then compare the total strengths of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Oh boy. Hmm. This 
I feel like this is going somewhat smoothly right now. Oh. Wait, what does the fog do? Sets the strength for of all ranged combat cards for to one for Oh Poo. Alright. Okay. I just have my card left. Yeah. <laughs> Your opponent has passed. Your turn. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Really? Pass. Player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once a player has lost both life gems. Okay. And I won the round. What is this one? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. No heroes or special cards. Come back! What does that do? Won the round, and I won the game! There's no shame in passing and letting your opponents win a round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high-value cards, immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. More powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Okay. Well. Well. Excuse me? Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, good to know the black one's looking out for our welfare. Huh. <laughs> Captain Peter actually Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Eh. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Okay. Roach. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Hello? Trails fresh. His love just left home. 
Interesting. Oh. Excuse me, Ms. Love? You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. I'll show you, sure. But uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is. If you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Yeah, why not? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these Damn. stray mutts form packs. Gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies, but they just won't die because they're clever. More so than foxes. Too late. Attacked another one. Oh. Eat some food. Oh, damn, Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before, well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So, can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Well, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Wait, what? You've gained an ability point. Press plus to go to the character panel to learn a new ability. What? When you have gained a certain number of experience points, you advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improve ones you already have. An ability's color indicates which what branch it belongs to. Use L to select an ability, then develop it by pressing Y. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Okay, that's fair. You're right. That's fair. Good hunting now. Examine the site of the Nilfin Guardian soldier's death using your Witcher senses. Nilf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. See, I can hear dogs growling. I guess it's those over there. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Yeah. Hmm. He said the other there was a body uh hanging on a branch or something. Yeah, there was one body laying here against the stump. Here we go. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Okay, so holding B and I'm able to jump and gra uh, grab onto a ledge, so. There we go. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. This griffin is dead though. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Oh. Other griffin must be a male. Uh, examine wounds. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Huh. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Huh. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. So there's no blood on the beak or claws, but there's deep uh, cuts all across her body. Gray hairs on the coat and worn beak, about 10, 12 years old for a griffin, and apparently she's a royal griffin as well. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Oh! Those guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. That would explain it. Alright, time to swim. So it's Y to dive and B to swim to the surface. Got it. Turn on how much breath you have. Run out and you'll drown. Oh! There we go. K. 
Can you give me the black... Thank you. I like to grab just another one just in case. And to the surface. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. It's close. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, take this. Oh, a crossbow. A crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. <laughs> Gambling? How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> Watch out. Open the quick. Oh. Press R to let loose bolt from the crossbow. You have multiple items in your pockets, you can switch between them using right stick. Get back here, you coward! When using the Witcher senses, not you will you not only see more, but hear more as well. Let's determine the origin of distant noises. Okay, okay. Got it! Let's go! Place Moodigans in the appropriate slots to gain a bonus to your character statistics. Select the Moodigans tab. Choose a the Moodigan, then place it in the indicated spot. Once activated, Moodigans grant bonuses to your character statistics. Okay. Both Moodigans and abilities are marked with a color. Put a Moodigan in a field with at least one ability of the same color to create uh, to increase its bonus. If an ability does not match the color of the Moodigan in its field, it does not increase the Moodigan's bonus. The increase gained from an any other abilities in the same field which do which do match the Moodigan remains. 
The more abilities in a field that match the color of the field's Moodigan, the greater the Moodigan's bonus. Each matching ability increases the bonus by 100%. Can also be used to brew powerful potions called Moodigan decoctions. Okay. And I want to upgrade this. Fast attack damage increased by 10%, adrenaline point gain plus 2%. Alright. Um, let me... Save game. Saves created with this version of the game will be incompatible with previous game versions. So, that is a solid spot to end this video on. So, my first time playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and I gotta say, I'm actually really loving this so far. Like, I'm only an hour and a half into it so far, and I'm already loving it. And I think uh, on the box it said there's 150 hours worth of story or something playtime here lord of mercy on my soul i'm not recording all 150 i'm just this is going to be the only witcher 3 uh video unless if y'all want me to do uh some more of it but if the full 150 hours is the main storyline that is not gonna be a freaking playthrough series i'll tell you that it's just gonna be highlight reels <clears throat> but yeah that is my first, this is my first time playing Witcher 3. It, I gotta give shout out to my friend. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name him out. Richard, if you were if you have watched this to the end, I appreciate you getting me this game. It is so much fun and I'm loving it. And just like you uh, said, the first interaction that I had with Yennefer at the beginning of the video, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a, just a face cam zoom in for that because that, Freaking footage is too spicy for YouTube. <laughs> Alright. And with that said and done, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.